From KALB, this is a First Alert Forecast. Buenas noches and welcome back. My name is Ayora Rivas and this is the weather forecast. Well, November is over and we start December with near average temperatures. However, we see that in the top five warmest Novembers, the 2024 is the top one with an average temperature of 70.8 degrees. The second one is in 1927 with 65.5 degrees Fahrenheit. So we did have a very warm November. Today's highs got to those mid or upper 60s. Nakiris with 68 degrees, Alexandra with 65, and the Reader with 65 as well. Right now here in Alexandra, we have clear skies, 41 degrees, winds are calm, and the dew point is 38 degrees. Overnight, we're going to see those temperatures drop once more to those mid or lower 30s. We're going to keep those clear skies overnight, and it's going to be a pretty chilly night. So that low is going to sit in those lower to mid 30s, with Winfield having 32 degrees, Gina 34, and Marksville 33. We're sitting about 10 degrees below average. So don't forget the four Ps protect people, pets, plants, and also pipes, because those chilly temperatures can cause some trouble. So for tomorrow morning, we're gonna see clear skies all day, and we're gonna start seven in the morning in those mid 30s. By nine in the morning, we're gonna ramp up to those mid 40s, and by 11, we'll be in those mid 50s. Afternoon hours is when we're gonna reach our high in those mid to lower 60s. We're gonna see the mid to lower 60s across all Senda. Winfield with 63 degrees, Colfax also with 63, and the reader Ogdale plus Appaloosas could potentially get to those mid 60s tomorrow. We have Monday night a cold front coming through, a weak cold front that is gonna drop those temperatures slightly. And we're, it's gonna keep us in those chilly conditions that I personally am not a fan of. <laughs> we're gonna see that cold front head south by Tuesday morning, and we're gonna go from those near average temperatures to below average temperatures by midweek. Then a warm front is gonna come through on Wednesday, coming from the south, actually from the ocean, bringing some moisture to the area and bumping up those temperatures. So we're gonna get to see again those near average temperatures. So once again, the dew point is going to go from refreshing temperatures to pleasant by midweek. But once again, we're going to drop to those near freezing conditions. The few next mornings, you can expect some frost in the morning. Then on Thursday, we're going to be in those lower 50s in the morning hours. But then on Friday, once again, we're going to sit in those mid 30s. With uh, a warm front usually comes some precipitation. We're going to have for Wednesday about 50% chance of showers and on Wednesday night is when we're going to see some heavy rainfall. We have between 80 and 90% chance of precipitation and we can expect a marginal risk of excessive rainfall. We can expect between 2 to 3 inches of rainfall in the next 7 days with some local areas getting up to 4 inches. We don't know yet if these storms could be severe so please don't forget to follow us on our social media as we keep you updated with anything that comes to our Senna region. Here is their seven day forecast with those cold fronts coming through and don't forget the warm front coming on Wednesday, bringing those showers and bumping up those temperatures a little bit more to those upper 60s. So do you expect the cooler temperatures to stick around like for the majority of the month or is it going to be like back and forth? Well, I'm going to tell you about this coming up, but we're going to go back to above average temperatures. I know that's not good news for many, but maybe for me it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, Ayara. Thank you.